faith. Even though he knew that most of the leprosy died with that infection. But he had the faith to believe God. And he said, if you can, you can make me clean. Yeah. And Jesus put forth his hand and said, I will. So my text for today, my sermon for today would be, Jesus says, I will. I will. How many of you all have asked God some questions and you've got them in your spirit right now, some things that you want God to do for you? Well, I come to tell you this morning that Jesus said, I will. And Jesus never says to anyone that I'm not going to answer you. I'm not going to do this for you. If you are a child of God and you are walking in his ways and serving him, God said, I will. I don't care what it is we're going through. This message is for me too. It don't make no difference what we're going through. Jesus says, I will. You need a home? God, I will give it to you. You need your vehicle? Most of us already got it. They wanted it, and the ones that don't, don't have it yet, they're going to get it. If you are a believer, and you have a fellowship with God, and a one-on-one -on -one right, personal right. relationship with God, God said, whatever you seek him for, whatever you ask him for, yes. if you can believe, God said, I will. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. I will. Yes. And when God said, I will, and you believe him, start looking for it. I was telling Danny this more, uh, one day this week, I said, God don't want us living from hand to mouth. We belong to him. He has adopted us. And it's no shortage in kingdom of anything that we need. And I was all laying prostate before God. I said, God, I am your child. And I am sick and tired of living from hand to mouth. I don't have to live like this. Right. So first of all, I said, Satan, I bind you now in the name of Jesus. Loose your hold on my finances yeah. now. In the name of name Jesus. Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. And I command you to take your nasty, filthy hands off of my finances yeah. now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And I said, and I decree and I declare that my finances will start flowing to overflowing, good measure, pressed down, and running over. In the name of Jesus. And I've been searching for it. Every time I go to the mailbox, I'm looking for money. I don't know who's going to bless me, but I have decreed it and I have declared it. And I know God is already doing it. Yes. He said, I will. I will. And I believe God. And I'm looking. I guess somebody said, that woman must think she, she's crazy. I keep asking, the mailman been yet? You know why? I'm searching. I'm searching for what I asked God for. All right. Who called? Somebody's looking for Vera Harris to bless her. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because oh, I talked to my daddy, and he said that he would call men to give her to my bosom. Yeah. He told me the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. God said, I will this morning. Whatever it is, he said, I will. Yes. Put your cups out. God said, I will. Yes. I will. I don't, you need a husband? You need a, a wife? I will. Yes. I will. You need food? You need gas in your car? I will. God told me yes. through his word, he'd make me a lender and not a borrower. How am I going to be a lender if I don't have finances? God's word can't lie. He's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent if God said it. Yeah. 
said, I will, says the Lord. Oh, God, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. If you've asked God for anything and you're asking faith, God said, I will. Hallelujah. You want your husband to stop acting up. Your wife start acting up. Give them to God. Have a little talk with Jesus. He will make everything all right. He will do it for you. You're his child. Everything we need has already been appropriated for us when he died on the cross. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Give them to God. Put them on the altar. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then when you, you pray and God says you will, go and search for it. Go looking for it. How do you look for it? Praying and thanking him. Worship him. You're like your God. Act like you already got it. Reading God's word. Studying his word. And praying.